looking at Psalm 63 today for our summer of Psalms. And in Psalm 63, it's titled, My Soul Thirsts for You. And on Sunday, Josh encouraged us and challenged us to give a day of fasting of something, whether it be food or drink, but that, or if it be social media or phone, TV, Netflix, whatever it would be, something that we fill our time with a lot in a day and that we do a lot for and using that time to focus on our relationship with the Lord. So whatever that is, and food may not be the best thing, it may be something else. And whatever it is that we take that out and focus on the Lord and use that time for our relationship with the Lord. And in Psalm 63, there's this amazing imagery of how we should be able to thirst for God. So let's read Psalm 63. Oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh, may, my flesh faints for you and is in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied with, as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me, but those who seek to destroy my life shall go down into the depths of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals, but the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall exalt, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. And that first part just shows the amazing imagery of how David thirsts for the Lord. As if he's walking through the desert with no water around him, and that thirst that he has for water is the same thirst he has to be with the Lord. And that's what we should have. We should have that thirst and desire to be in the Lord as if we're in a desert just needing water so desperately. And when we take something out, that makes us see it. The reason why you have thirst so much in the desert is because there's no water, right? You don't have water, you don't have access to water, and you want it so desperately. And when you take something out and have to fill the time with it, as if when we're fasting, we're able to have that desire and see how much we want it and say, Lord, I know I want this, but I want you more and I want to thirst for you more. I want to desire you more. And when David was able to be in that, when he was able to stand uh, in the shadow of, his, of God's wings, he will sing for joy. And that when he was able to be with his power and glory of God, he is able to be singing with joyful lips. So what we learn from this is that when we're filling our time with God's glory and power and spending our time in our relationship with the Lord, it is always going to be joyful as uh, in fulfilling more than what we fill our time with on things of the earth. That we don't need to, as terms of fasting of food and drink, of we don't need those things more than God. We need God more than those other things. And when we fast, it's what we're really instilling into our life, and it should be a spiritual habit that we have in our life. So I encourage you sometime this week, whether it be starting right now until the same time tomorrow or tomorrow or Thursday or Friday, at some point, just spend some time, a whole day fasting, giving something up and spending that time with the Lord and focusing in how much you desire and thirst for Him and be able to stand in his glory and power and stand in the shadow of his wing with a joyful heart. So I encourage you to read Psalm 63 again and uh, take Josh's challenge seriously this week.